Oh my family man over there. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brian from Kalido, and right now I am here in our village, guys. Come to our home, and this is our home. You know it. This is how our home looks like. And in case you are new, this is our home in the village. This village is called Kanansega, guys. Yeah, so we are here even today. I have another video for you yeah and today's video is something which i want to show you but yeah let me first show you this that is my grandi this is our new toilet the one we are going to construct but the, the work actually the construction is not going on because the food is not there yeah you know we are in the village and you know we only have few constructors i mean like the fundi we have few of them so the one we have the one which we use uh, for those who have been following me the one which we constructed this uh, this concrete with uh, right now is busy he's not around so we are now waiting for him yeah so he, he went somewhere for safari but we are waiting for him to come back and we start the construction i even started uh, bringing these uh, bricks yeah, we are getting these bricks from the other side. Yeah, I brought this some some of these uh, blocks here. So we are organizing anytime. Uh, we are now going to start our construction of the toilet. So my grand is here measuring to see. You know, my grand was a was a constructor, was an engineer during when he was when he, during the, his time when he was still a, a strong man. He was the constructor, so he's mm. measuring to see mm. uh, what we did, whether it is okay. Mm. But it is okay because mm. the guy which I worked with, uh -huh. the guy which I worked with knows what he does. Now, uh, there's something which I wanted to show you here, how we do it here in Africa, in most of the times. And uh, I want this this cameraman of mine to come and help me. Oli Aina! Yeah, there's something which I wanted to show you how we do it here in Africa. Like for us cleaning our compounds, we don't need we don't need to go in the market to go like to go in the shops to buy those things that we use at home. Apart from the metallic gadgets and maybe plastic gadgets, but the rest, like I'm talking about uh, the the brooms. The inside and the outside, we just make them we ourselves, and this is how we do it. These are our supermarkets, guys. Everything we find them here. Only that for us, our home we are blessed. We have everything around our home, but in some some other in some other families they are not there. So for us, we are lucky that everything whatever we want we can get it in our village like like in our home in 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 our farm like in the compound that's what i can say so we are blessed we have this this farm it has everything that we want even when we want to get the brooms like the inside brooms the one which we use to clean inside we can even use these ones plus here we call them emikonzi yeah we call it emikonzi so you can go and collect those things slowly by slowly you end up getting a very big broom which you can use but people in town they are always just buying so even the outside outside brooms the one which we use to sweep the compound we just go in the garden and this is what i want to show you right now right now it is what i'm going to show you so let my cameraman come and help me to hold for me the camera and I show you how we do it. Guys, I'm in the village, remember. I am in the village. So guys, I'm cutting now the broom. This one is uh, for the outside. So we cut them like this, then we put them in the sun. 
to make sure it dries then we we we, we, we then we, we, we then we, we tie them together you remember there's a video which i did when i was tying the broom but the other one was was not dry actually the other one was not dry this and there are very many here there are very many here Village life guys. Village life in Africa, Uganda. You can even just pull it like this. You can even do it like as I've done on this. Yeah, but this one because it is inside, that's why I've, I've just pulled it, pulled it. But you can use this. So it depends on the position where you are getting that group. The other one is also here. Big like this. Look at the this. Look, look how big the thing is. Okay. So now guys, after cutting this, you bring them, you bring them here like this. Like now for the good shape of the, the, the broom, you can even do like this. Okay. You make them one one. So that when it gets dry, you can, you can, you can, you can make a good broom with a good shape. With, without those, those corner corners. I don't know whether you can understand the corner corners. Yes, yes. Without the corner corners, so um, you, you 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 do this. You separate them like like this. Yeah. So that when they get dry, it can even take a day. It depends on the the temperature or on the the hotness of the day. But during these days, yeah, sunshine is too much. So this one. It can even dry now. It can get dry in one day or two days. Two days are enough when it is not raining. Two days are enough. So we put them here like this, like this, and they get dry properly. So after getting dry, 
our brooms are here they are they now got dry and we are now going to in fact i i i, I always forget that word i don't know how they say they, they say it in english but we are going to wrap them together is it wrapping yeah no 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 like tying them together yeah we are now going to tie our broom it is it is now dry uh, yeah as you can see it, it is dry so i'm now going to to, to, to tie them together to make a, a good broom. These are our brooms now, guys. The ones we are, we are going to watch, we are going to, to, to tie together to make one broom. So, guys, come with me as I go to bring the banana fibers. Because right now we don't have the rubber. You can use the rubber. As you can see that rubber is much better because when you use rubber, it takes long. It can last for long. But right now we don't have rubber and we are going to do it locally. Yeah, I'm going to use the banana fibers because it is what is there right now. So, come with me as we, as we go to bring the banana fibers. I want to show you how we get the banana, the, the, the banana fibers, guys. Right? Come with me, come with me. I've yeah, got our knife, the one we are going to cut the banana fibers with. We have banana fibers here in our home, guys. Right? Oh. If you look there, you go the other side. Come this way, then. That one is not banana type. These are the banana fibers. For those who doesn't know banana fiber, they are the ones. Cut this. We remove that one. Uh, make sure that our thing is, our work is clean and smart. Yeah, this one will be enough. So let us go and uh, let us go and do what? Tie our broom together. So this one we are going to cut it into two, into two parts like this. So now we have to put this uh, the banana fibers in the water like this, okay? Yeah, if you do this, it gives it the the strength. Then here it can last long, and even when it is dry, yeah, here you can tie it. It becomes strong and strong like this. So, we're now going to pack our thing here. Okay.
So here we are now going to tie using our banana fiber. So now our broom is done, it's now finished, you see, even you can see the long, the, long, the broom, you see, it's very long, so let me demonstrate for you, you see, you see, this is how the thing works. So guys, our broom is now done. Uh, yeah, we have made it. This is what I was trying to tell you. And uh, you can see the broom now. This is how we do it in Africa. So guys, in case you are new, please subscribe. Let us know to 1K subscribers, guys. We are all almost reaching there. Give a video a like, share the video. See you in another video.